Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be making one of my wiggly edged bows. And I'm going to do a Christmas theme. So what I have over here is six ounces of my Fooey Tim One to One that I have run through the debubbler. I'm just going to get those residual bubbles out of there. And I'm going to pour about halfway, I guess, into it. Uh, what I am going to do first, though, is spray a little bit of 99%. And then pour in the middle and let the resin go where it wants. Now, I don't want a ton of resin in there right now because I have plans. That's right, plans. With just that little bit of resin in there, I'm going to go around and squish my edges, what will be the edge of the mold, just to get any bubbles that might want to be in there. Because this mold is really cool. It's it's very detailed. It's sort of got like a water ripply effect to it. Um, so bubbles aren't really a big deal, but I'd rather not have them in my project. So a little bit more of clear until it's about halfway up. And I know you guys can't see that, but trust me. Trust it. Trust the critter. Okay. Now that that's all in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Christmas glitter mix that I got from Timu. I'm trying to mix it up really well. You can hear me shaking. Shake, shake, shake. And then I'm just going to dump some glitter in. Relatively healthy amount of glitter, I suppose. Excuse me, sir. And silicone tool. And I'm just going to go around. Oops, got a drip. There we go. Problem solved. Hand clean. going to get the glitter mixed in. Now that we've done that, we're going to pour our fancy glitter mix over this. And what this will do is it will give it more glitter in the bottom of the bowl while also dispersing gently through the clear resin that's already in there. So it'll be sort of a glittery ombre, <laughs> if you will. Add a little bit more. Go around and squish. Encourage movement. ambulate my resin, if you will. Just 
That's one thing when I was in the hospital. You know, people would come in and they would talk to each other assuming that I don't know what they're talking about because, you know, some people don't. I would say, is she ambulatory? No, I would answer, yes, she is. I am perfectly capable of walking and I just need my cane. Right, so that's full. Uh, I have, oh gee whiz, about two ounces left. So let's make something else. We all love extra stuff, don't we? Yes. Yes, we do. What do we want to make? Let's pick something. Oh, gee, honey. Keep doing it. Cuddly. I don't really have anything for you to keep and cuddly offhand. You know what I do have, though? I don't have any cuddly. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to make more resin. I just want to use what I've got. Uh, tell you what I'm going to do. I have this here scalloped edge mold. And I'm just going to pour in. We're just going to make a big Christmas coaster. Because when I go to Texas for Thanksgiving and my birthday, I'm taking things down for Christmas presents and decorations and whatnot. So might as well. A sparkly coaster or trivet or whatever it may end up being used for. You never know. Knowing my family, it could end up being used as a gravy boat. You know? I don't know about you guys, but you know. If you've never used a flat gravy boat, give it a try. It's kind of fun. It's a joke, by the way. Don't come at me. All right, so let's move that around. This is just going to give it a thin, thin layer, and as it uh, does its thing, as it sits there, it'll. Know, and start warming up and it'll just, you know, sort of even itself out, flatten out. The resin's very good about self-leveling. You see a couple of pieces of snowflake glitter that are sticking up. And you can kind of see what's in there. There's little crosses, there's Christmas trees and hearts and just various shapes. There's snowflakes and all sorts of fun glittery things. For the holiday season. So there we go. So we're gonna let these cure and I will see you guys back when they're done. See you then. It is time to unleash the glitter monster. Let's see what we got. It is still just a little bit soft, but that's okay, because it honestly makes it easier to get out of this mold. It is not the easiest mold to get stuff out of. Good thing it's stretchy. Witness the struggle with me. Aha. Second.
And here it is. Her sparkly Christmas bowl. Look how pretty it is. Oh, I love it. It's so sparkly and glittery. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, this is going to be perfect for the holidays. I like it a lot. And this is food safe resin. Uh, the Fooey Tim is food safe resin. So as soon as I uh, let it cure, uh, I normally, if I'm going to intend to use things made out of resin for food, I will let it cure for at least 14 days beforehand. Um, so plenty of time. Plenty of time to use this for Christmas season. So anyway, yeah, what do you guys think? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.